So if you guys are not familiar with the whole story of, of Justin Roiland and Adult Swim and Rick and Morty, very recently, Justin Roiland was charged with domestic abuse and false imprisonment charges. This kind of is the culmination of what's kind of been like a secret legal battle. It's been going on for like a year or two. Justin Royer's lawyer came out like a couple of weeks ago and was like, oh yeah, they're gonna free my boy. No, they did not free his boy. Uh, as a matter of fact, he got charged. They continued to press forward with the, um, you know, with the legal proceedings. I have to say, to be completely fair, and I am not one of those like, you know, guilty before proven innocent uh, type of dudes. I will say this: if you're like, you know, accused of like assault, especially like assault in an intimate situation, usually the dudes kind of get off because not because the things didn't happen but they're hard to prove and also you have a pretty high amount of women who lie about such incidents to get the dudes in trouble out of like revenge or something but in this instance justin roiland got charged got charged by the american justice situ uh, uh, system now in order to be charged you do need to have a certain amount of evidence against you so what does this mean Breaking it down, this all means that there is at least a little bit of evidence against Justin Roiland in this case, which is why the legal proceedings are continuing. And as a matter of fact, I would argue that it's probably significant considering the nature of the charges that have been uh, kind of like thrown his way. Anyways, this happens as I check the internet. Rick and Morty goes and posts this announcement on, announcement on their official Twitter page, and it reads as such. Adult Swim has ended its association with Justin Roiland. Rick and Morty will continue. The talented and dedicated crew are hard at work on season seven. Now, we did see, you know, some people laughing. LOL how Justin is Rick and Morty. And this is true. He is Rick and Morty. However, it's been said that they are going to recast these roles. And this, I, I get, I got this from multiple sources. The only source I could find through startpage.com that wouldn't redirect me to Yahoo or MSN was The Guardian. Justin Roiland dropped from Rick and Morty after domestic abuse charges. And yeah, reportedly they are going to recast both roles, both uh, both roles, and Dan Harmon is going to stay on. I think it's interesting because Dan Harmon uh, also got hit with his own allegations, and he kind of got away with those, got free, but he wasn't charged. <laughs> there was not enough evidence to charge him for this. So uh, yeah, it's kind of interesting. But here, here's my take on this, and I'm not a fan of cancel culture, but I'm going to go out on a limb here and say i think adult swim did the right move here now it wasn't until i was arguing with people on reddit that i realized that um you know justin roiland does not do the majority of the writing on rick and morty anymore uh, especially not this stage of the show dan Harmon is a pretty good showrunner um he was actually the one involved with um community if i'm not mistaken the guy who made that show such a great success he understands how to do comedic timing as well as to do plots in as well as well as how to do plots in like tv show episodes so you know the show is going to be in good hands with dan Harmon running the uh running the show now, how are they going to find someone to recast the to redo the voices? Now, we all know there are plenty of people who do spot on impressions. So it could be hard for them to find someone else to fill their shoes. Now, I think it would be interesting if they did like a whole like uh, season where it's not about Rick and Morty. It is it is instead of Rick and Morty, it's Beth and Summer. Because I think their dynamic is like really cool. And also you have the whole robot Beth in like the later seasons. So I think that would be like a fun dynamic to explore. Like I think both Beth and Summer could hold their own in like a whole season showing off their shenanigans. It would also give the creators time to find someone to do voice acting or allow for the plot from a Beth and Summer season to culminate in, you know, a plausible explanation for why the voices have changed. 
We've seen this before in the Amazing World of Gumball. I'm a fan of Amazing World of Gumball. They've changed the voice act, the, lead, the voice actors for the lead characters like three times because of puberty. And uh, yeah, they poke fun at it at times in the show. And I think that Rick and Morty could do it as well. Case in point, at the end of the day, I think that Warner Brothers in the Adult Swim did the right thing here. They can certainly recast Rick and Morty, have someone who sounds like them, and continue to have the show as good as uh, as it was before, just so long as they focus on having high quality episodes. Because, you know, every time something like this happens, and it's very rare, usually the quality of the show goes down and the writing kind of depletes. And Dan Harmon is, is, is really, really good. So, you know, hopefully he just maintains his quality of, of content there. It's an unfortunate situation, but I, I appreciate Adult Swim for at least finding a way to you know allow the rest of the season to still be enjoyable uh for the audience without having to worry about this whole situation looming over their heads because hey justin Rowland's no longer associated with the with the project nor is he working on it this probably means that he has given up all rights for royalties as well so we can't feel bad we we we, we no longer have an obligation to feel bad for liking the show i think that's good and I'm happy with, with the fact that they've done that. 